tabs on it even though we haven't been making videos about it we just been keeping tabs on this one and trust soon as soon as the, as soon as they switch to another series that char that darf charmeleon at bastard is ours to deal with as we please looking all edgy like a like a 2006 kind of pokemon well, it is what it is, man. <laughs> like, dude, not only did you, not only did you have the stupidest freaking backstory of why you became evil, you just went stereotypical evil. That is like legit. That is like so, like that is so offensive to us that, you, that used to be evil, and I'm and I still am evil. So it's just kind of, so you just like went straight up like I'm gonna be Darth Plagueis. Ultimate power. You know, I really wish that uh, some of the Devil's Data Breaker crew could see us and uh, actually respond because we're just we just be clowning on them all the time. Mostly the stupid villains because some of their motivations are just plain dumb. Plain dumb. Plain plain dumb of Lord. They are like freaking. Oh, Charmeleon just went snapped because he was hanging out with Kai and Master Agia. <laughs> wow. Truly. True. I like it. He turns into dark Charmeleon. Yes. Edgy mother. <laughs> just an edgy motherfucker. He really is. Like, dude, I was sitting. I was looking at it. I've been watching it while uh, we've been kind of busy. Well, mostly we've been hanging out in the inventory all day. All day for the last few weeks, it was pretty good, you know? Hanging out with the other Bugsies and the other beings of the multiverse, it was nice. It's a nice change of pace. But now we're back. And we're here to talk to Darth... We're here to deal with this Darth Charmeleon bastard. Freaking... Freaking took the thing from No Man's Sky. Yep. Are you guys even surprised? <laughs> like everybody in this, everybody in this series is just sometimes like, like seriously, Charmeleon's just evil for the sake of it, like because of Kai and Master Agia. Like I can get Kai being a little bit, you know, being a little bit um, much, but you know, Master Agia ain't really that bad. I mean, I hate him. Because he's a bitch. But, you know, in the context of their universe, they shouldn't really hate him. He's been... He's done some cool things before. He has done some cool shit before. And, like, yeah, he's been kind of a little... He's been kind of a little biatch lately. There's no denying that. But, you know... I wouldn't say they're bad people to hang around with. I mean, I'd probably slap Kai a few times across the fucking... Face like no, we ain't doing that shit. Fuck your mommy milkers. Fuck those mommy milkies, motherfucker. We ain't doing that shit. <sighs> well, good that we're settling in. How's Elizabeth? How's Elizabeth and um, Sarah's by the way, Epsilon? Oh, they're doing. Finally, with this crimson at last seed, all will bend to my will, and all will be mine. Charmeleon, stop! I want oh my god, look at his dark. Look at this freaking Charmeleon's dark ass. Come, but it is too late. In only a few seconds, dark Charmeleon. 
and all your friends and the wise will die, and all will belong to the Galactic Mod Empire. What the hell happened to you? What have you done to yourself? What have you become? I have injected myself with the brood of the dark masters of the past. With it, I have become brood of the dark masters of the past. Oh, no, 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 no. Brood of the Dark Masters of the Past. What the f Can we just... So, injecting yourself with more evil essence. That's really dumb. No, it's stupid because if you inject yourself with evil essence of the Dark Ones of the Past, which I do know what that is. That is the essence of pure evil. And really, after that, they don't... It's not really you in control, it's them in control, but, you know, Charmeleon's too much of a bitch, a fucking bitch ass, a bitch ass Pokemon to really understand that. Hates people so much, he decides to let some, something else take the wheel, thinking that it's gonna give him power. Mortal mistake, I guess. Well, I mean, yeah. How the fuck is that even possible? That doesn't even make any fucking sense. There are many things in this universe that remain a mystery, but with the secret dark arts, all are truly possible. God damn it, lad! You are behind this as well. Yes, and unfortunately for you, I you have lost. Soon we will all gain what we truly desire. Oh my Soon God. I will have my vampiric empire, and the galactic Nod empire will Boy. have its control over what it wants. And Fizarole will have all the souls guys. he wants for Lulu Land. And are we up? You will lose. Guys, no guys, are we rolling our eyes at this? Because yep. Totally. No, we have totally. One, and I will enjoy seeing you all suffer. No, I won't let you all win. I won't let you hurt my friends or my owls. I will stop you. What the fuck? I can't move. God damn it, it's fucking I'm telling you. Telling you, Devil Man, you can just call us. Five minutes. Force. All it would take. You have failed, and you will all bow before me. Submit to my power. Yes, master. No, no. I won't submit. I won't fucking give up. I won't fucking lose. But you see, this you is weird. Lost. There's nothing you can do. Little do you know I, I have seen so many scenarios where it ends in something else. Search your feelings. You know this to be true. No, they're all dead. <laughs> all of my friends. Seriously, we're... The has been reduced to Seriously, we've been joking about the whole Dark Sithius thing. But that is exactly is what Charmeleon is. All we're missing. All we're missing is the Charmeleon shooting out late, shooting out fucking electricity going, Ultimate power! Yes! Oh! <laughs> you know that shit. Guys, it would just take us like five minutes to beat all their asses, wouldn't it? Five, it would take two. Vlad's too, like, we got Epsilon on our side. Epsilon could just kill Vlad, like, actually finish him off. Alucard style. You and me could just, you, me, and, you, me, and Overlord can take down, um, Charmeleon. He ain't, he ain't that hard to beat. I can already see that. Fizzaroli... We just shove him in, like, a different kind of hell where he doesn't have any control. So now taking him back to Ozzy so he can kiss his wounds. Kiss his wounds and, you know, give him the old... Give him the old, uh, you know. Y'all can't see it, but, but they know what my gesture is. Oh, uh, God. Make a look, you're gross. Hey, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm, be I'm being real. <laughs> That's where he goes after every after every defeat. He goes back to Ozzy, and Ozzy gives him the old, you know, gives him a little bit of the old, uh, you know, a little less from Osmodius. <laughs> Dude, guys, guys, we need to stop clowning on this moment. It's serious, yeah, it is. But like, legit, we could beat them in like five minutes. We could beat them in like two minutes. Yeah. No, that's for you. And unfortunately for still you, make it. you won't be done. And still make it for dinner. Death. I will take great pleasure in making you suffer. Damn it! All I fucking ever wanted was peace. I just wanted to be with my friends like we used to be. God damn it, why did this have to happen? God damn it, I just...
Can we just say it? I just want this peace. Now we must end this before the gillette arrives. Who the fuck is the Derek? Can I just say it? Gentlemen, you can never have peace because your universe doesn't work like that. Ours does, yours doesn't. Our part of the multiverse does because we don't really have any real enemies to fight since me me and Overlord used to be enemies, used to be enemy combatants, but now we're cool because of the whole Bugsy Neutrality Act. And even if, even if that wasn't in place, we'd still be pretty neutral. All Bugs, all Prime takes, all Prime does is take care of, um, you know, Doc Scratch. So basically... He's it. That's the only villain that he's fighting. Pretty much all the other Bugsies, we live in peace because our universe isn't in any danger. Your universe thrives on nothing but conflict because that doesn't, you know, because it makes it makes shit more exciting. Ergo, why our universe is different than your universe and vice versa. You know, after this, we can all just chill, watch TV, and watch some Ranma. Fucking go, fucking go outside, smoke some cigars, call a day, call a day, go back home, go back home to our significant others, get up, go back into the studio, make another video, go to freaking the inventory, and do the whole process all over again. Like I've always said, our, our part of the multiverse is different from your part of the multiverse. Y'all live on the conflict. We don't need conflict to survive. It helps to keep us sharp, but we don't really need it. It's just there as a necessity. Well, you know, he is right. <laughs> and that's why, don't worry, you're never going to get peace because, you know... The person who writes your stuff will always want conflict. Conflict is what drives your narrative. Us, not so much. He comes to delete everything. For he has been summoned by Gibbs Workshop for us using Weimar 40k. But soon that what will the? matter to us. If I will lose this crimson at may seem to reshape everything into my mate. Damn it, what is this trick present I feel? The deleter has arrived. <laughs> what the? Oh, fuck no. Oh no. Guys, do you feel that? I will delete you. Oh, Jesus! Good. Oh, on. Oh shit! Belterus. Now is the moment, the lady. I will Larry. lose my patience and let us see. This is wrong. Will now bow before us. Oh, now it belongs to me. Okay, the shell's on him. Oh shit! That was that was bad, guys. So they won. Yeah, they did. But while they while he was doing that, guess what I figured out? Ah, uh, his energy signature can be destroyed. So we're gonna pop in that universe a little bit later and uh, do a little bit of house cleaning. Like we ain't never did before. <clears throat> So let them enjoy their little victory. We're gonna dominate them like we dominate every other thing. Whether it's running or other related things, we're still gonna. They ain't gonna win. This is just a temporary thing. We need shields though. Oh, trust me. I got it. I adapted it while we were dealing with that. That quick? Yeah, nanobots. You know, nano machines, son. That, that shit. Well, um, do we got any? Do you guys got anything else to say? 
Eh, I got nothing else to say, really. No, this can't be. <laughs> Everything's gone. We have lost. I'm so sorry, my friend. I have failed you. Yeah, I just wanted to use the reporter to return everything to the way they used to be. Have a peace to be with my friends. God, I'm such a fucking failure, and this is all my fucking fault. And I'm not done so you to go in and heal Prussia. Hell, even the Austrian, I could have stopped Charmillion. I'm so sorry, my friends. I have failed you. I deserve this to be stuck in this void forever. I'm so sorry, my friends. I'm so fucking goddamn sorry. I just wanted peace. I just wanted to be with my friends. Oh, Jesus. Is that... The Dickleback Guild? Chad Kroger, wait! You deliberately got yourself deleted. For what? It's the purple and the seed. The second most powerful and lost seed. With this, I can be with my friends again. With this, we can truly have peace. I think personally, Dylan came back into existence to create a perfect duplicate universe of the last universe, sealing away the last universe. Both non the Vampire Empire cannot assure this new universe. They're stuck in the last universe. Shannon Kroger and, Shannon Kroger and Dylan are reunited with their friends. Peace again. Dylan finally gets what he wants, his friends and peace. So... Guess they want to go and mess with them? Nah, I got an idea. <laughs> you know, since, they, since those motherfuckers want to take... Since those motherfuckers thought it was cool to just erase everybody... Oh, Prime, you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to let them have their little victory, I know that. <laughs> Because, you know, they can, they can try, but, you know, the three of us, the, like, the six of us are pretty smart. But, uh, hey, you want to do the honors? Valcrucio. Val... Valcrucio. 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 And Valcrucio. <laughs> have fun with the... Have fun with the universe. Those, you know, those idiot, those three, those not idiots can go have fun with an infinite universe of in, of infinite chaos. <laughs> have fun, your little victory ain't lasting long. Whew. Hey, um, guys, since we're since we're here, what you guys want to go do? Well, huh? You know, you know, Prime. I was actually thinking. You wanna just sit or you wanna, you wanna just sit for a minute and talk for a minute? That's what we normally do after these videos now, so yeah. Ah You guys know that like sometimes like that all al that almost did affect us though. Yeah it did. Hey guys, look. Ooh, it's brighter. It's darker. It's brighter. It's darker. It's brighter. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, but I don't think that'll ever happen again. They were lucky. All we felt were the the shockwave effects, and if I didn't brace our universe, if I didn't brace the condo, it would have got deleted too. Since it does exist outside. It does exist outside of our universes, but it's the but it's the tether to all of our universes. Yeah, that, so they almost would have. So if they would have shook it even a little bit. Uh, we would have been able to get back normally. We'd have to take the expressway. 
Well, that's that's horrible. Yeah, it is. Trust, it is. It is. But we were able to we were able to do that, and we were able to give them a little present. Everybody, for the spell we cast is a well. We summoned something a little darker to go mess with them. So, well, mostly we just summoned our go Armageddon to just you know wreck everything, destroy everything. So they'll be fighting. They'll be fighting Armageddon for a while, while they have their little vampiric empire and their little nod empire. But you know, so we're gonna just chill, and we're gonna just you do our usual thing. So guys, um, how how are how are things right now? How was your, how was happy weekend? You know, Prime, just the same old, same old, me being with Gadget. Rebecca is getting that Chaos Lord growth spurt. So she's like, really. So she's learning. Watching Blue's Clues with her. It was, it was cute. She called me, she called me, she called me dad, she was calling me dad, and it was so cute. You know, Gadget, Gadget and I, Gadget and I are not really gonna, I mean, we're thinking of, like, we're thinking of homeschooling her because, you know, we're both pretty smart. Math, science, and history is something we can totally do. But I was thinking, like, you know, maybe around, maybe she gets a little older, we don't, we get her in, you know, high school. See how that See how that goes. What about you, Epsilon? Oh, for Elizabeth? Um, me and Sarah want her to be around other kids her age. Yeah, I think you guys should do that too. Uh, simply because, you know, I'm thinking like enrolling her in maybe, you know, one of those mixed schools that have humans and chaos lords, you know? So she knows where she, uh, you know, came from. Ah. Actually, that's a good idea. But you can, but I'm saying, like, you know, preschool-wise, y'all can, like, just... You know, I think y'all can dunk her into preschool. She doesn't have any, like, noticeable powers, right? Not, not that I can see... But that's why I'm, like, so hesitant of, like, bringing her into preschool because, you know, you know, when you're, when you're a little kid, that, that power that we all possess as chaos lords when we're kids is very destructive. So I think it's better, you know, homeschooling Rebecca is a good idea. Just for now. So she can get a handle on what, what she's got. Well, I mean, that's admirable. So, yeah. Prime, what about you? Uh, nothing. Miss Enigma is coming. Coming to my, coming to, coming to my place for a week, and it's going to be pretty awesome. I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to enjoy that. I think anybody, I think, I think you out of everybody here, Deserves a little bit of a break. You guys think so? Yeah? Totally. You really do, man. Actually? Yeah. You do. I mean, yeah. They get you off my back and stop talking about Bert. <laughs> Thanks, G. Thank you. And besides, I guess that means we'll take, be taking a day off for the whole week. Yeah. Cool. We need to get that. You know, that means we'll have more day offs. Just more days to hang around doing our own thing. Only coming out at night to hang out in the inventory and just chill. 
Watch this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh yeah. Solemn. Solemn. It's like a little it's like a little bottle rocket. Bottle rocket? I call this the science superior. I'm using the, we're using, you know, by doing this, I'm using the very physics of the game to make our little avatar jiggle around a bit. Mm. Rather put it's rather pedestrian. Watch this. Okay, okay, okay. I call this the Fresno floater. Let's move them out just a click. Just a few clicks that way. And now, for the piece de resistance. Yeah. Okay, that's just grabbing him like a stone, though. What you need to do, what you guys sorely lack, is this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the funky gyro. Pretty cool. You know, Noir, yours is way better than what we had. Huh, <sighs> anyways. I think that's about it. G, you got anything else to say? Like, how's your weekend? Uh, just kind of hanging out with, uh, hanging out with Steve Max, Alfie Mojax, and where are you? Not really, nothing really to really write home about. Them, them three, them three are my road dogs when I'm not with you guys. Did Steamax finally axe out Uni yet? He's getting there, you know how he is. Man's shy. Man's shy. I mean, you think about like, like, like Uni and Uni and Nymph Gear are a thing. I mean, in one universe, yes, but in the universe that I'm in. No, uh, Steam Max has a thing for Uni, and Uni has a thing for Steam Max. So it's kind, of, so it's kind of like it's kind of like a huge thing. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So, other than that, I think that's about it, guys. We'll see. We'll see you all later. Peace. Remember, folks. Remember, folks, that uh, even though you may want peace, there will always be something to fuck it up. See, the world cannot have peace. There will always be motherfuckers fighting. There will always be people willing to disrupt that peace simply because they can. Whether that be trolls. Whether that be random motherfuckers on the street. Whether that be motherfuckers that just come in and just do shit. You'll never really have peace. But you can find peace in the most littlest moments. Take me and Epsilon, for example. When we're with our kids... 
It's the best thing in the world. When we're all together, that's our peace. All of us together watching shit, hanging out, that's what we do. You can find peace in those little moments, but having peace, but knowing, but knowing that you think you can get peace all the time is not really always going to be a thing. It's not insured. It's not assured. He is cor He's correct about that, guys. See, the thing about Devil Man is that there's always going to be conflict, no matter what he does. Because that's how the universe operates. Either one of them, tur either one of his friends turns evil because he either gets hypnotized, or they turn evil over the stupidest reasons. But either way, that universe thrives off a of conflict. Pretty much it. But, for us, conflict is just another day in the life of the, of the, of the Bugsyverse. We'll be seeing you guys later. We'll probably do our own post thing, but really we weren't watching all the series. We were keeping up with it, but we weren't really watching it, as in recording it all of us together. So, you know. And we're glad that Spine's still dead. Him and his girlfriend and Lilithmon. I'm glad they're all I'm glad they're all down there. Probably probably down there in Lulu Land getting getting all kinds of weirded out and maybe loving it. So you know. Don't don't the be don't them in that last universe is really gonna have too much fun given the thing we just summoned. But I guess we'll never know if they actually fought it or not. So, we bid you all, we bid you all a fond bonne. We'll see you all later. Bonne to you all. <laughs> see you guys later. Peace. You watching the Big Three Bucks Network? Yeah. Okay. You watching the Big Three Bucks Network? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>